Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race, I'll see you in the video! What is going on guys, it is your boy T Stingray and welcome back to another video guys. Today I am going to be teaching you how to drift in CDT so you guys can drift just like Ken Block, the legend RIP guys. But before we get started, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys haven't. And don't forget to click that post notification bell because I am about to teach you guys what the difference is between these hyper cars that I am currently driving right now and the special Ken Block Hoonigan Hoonicorn, guys, and why you should get it. Now, let's get started with this video. This is absolutely fun, guys. Oh my gosh. So, I've been having so much fun in CDT lately, guys, because I felt like they have fixed the drifting mechanics in this game. It is absolutely amazing now. But today, guys, I'm going to teach you guys how to actually be a pro drifter just like Ken Block. But first, we got to go ahead and get the, the Hoonigun, Hoonicorn out right over here, guys. And I'm going to teach you guys what the difference is between these hypercars right here and the one that we are going to be driving. Because like this one, guys, it is a real-wheel drive. Be sure that you guys use any car that is a real-wheel drive is step number one, guys. And you guys can see that we already have the special ingredients on. So if you guys can guess what that is, comment it down below. But you guys can see that these drifts right here are absolutely nasty now. Before, we would literally just stop dead track in the middle. Now, we could literally like just drift around the corner. Oh, just like that. That's pretty sick. Hold on. Let me see if I can do a better one than that. Look at this one. Whoa. Wait, that's not good. All right, here we go. Coming up, there should be a turn. So let's go ahead and drift it. Ah! It's not as good as the Hoonicorn. Oh, look at that drift. Yo, the drift has gotten so much better in this game. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Hoonicorn real quick right over here, guys. And you guys can see right off the bat that this is a drifting car. And just like this, guys, check this out. We can drift seamlessly with this car. I absolutely love this. And if you guys have not gotten this car, you guys have to get it. I don't think it's available anymore. I think it is. And you guys literally have only a couple days to get this until it is gone forever. So the special thing about this car, guys, is the fact that uh, it is a real-wheel drive drifter. But I believe there's some power in the front to help it uh, drift a little bit, which I feel like every car should have. Oh my gosh, is that cop underwater right now? But check out how seamlessly this car just slides. But I think also it has to do with the tires, guys. So no step number one, guys, you got to make sure you have the right tire. And I'll show you guys why in just a second. But you guys can see it right over here that I am drifting seamlessly. And that's because we have spike tires on. Yes, guys, I said it. Spike tires. And that's why we're sliding just like that so literally foxy told me the other day that if i wanted to uh drift a little bit easier use the spike tires compared to the normal tire and i'm gonna say guys that it is a lot smoother and i'm gonna show you guys a demonstration here in just a second all right first of all check this out guys i'm gonna go ahead and slide right here and that was a pretty good one but it didn't seem like we slid a lot so i'm gonna do that again right over here Ah, uh, it just doesn't slide as good because it has way too much grip on the normal tires. And just like that, it kind of slows down just a little bit, guys, which is kind of unfortunate because if we wanted to drift, we don't want to slow down at all. But look at that. It's getting a little bit better. But if we stick the spike tires on these, these will literally slide like ice. Look at that. <laughs> like ice on the floor oh gosh we don't even have to press the e-brake sometimes we can just like swing the car and we can literally just start oh 
my boy just hit me. Like, we can just, like, start swinging the car, and it will just start drifting by itself. <laughs> just because the spike tires, guys, just make it a little bit slippery. And doing that will literally make us, ooh, a pro drifter just like this. So I'm going to teach you guys now how to make these sick drifts just like this. So first step of how to drift, guys, is go straight. And then after you hit a certain mark, guys, go ahead and hit the e-brake so a lot of you guys play on mobile if you guys don't know what the e-brake is it's that button right beside your acceleration or if you guys play on pc it's the space bar so what you guys are going to do is get some speed going right here and then as soon as you guys think the time is right go ahead and press the space bar or your e-brake just once and let it slide so we're going to do that again guys so i think like right here is a good sweet spot and then ah, that was a little bit too fast we got to go a certain speed and if it's something like this, there we go. That was a little bit better right there. You guys don't have to hold down the e-brake. You guys can just literally like tap on it if you wanted to. Just like this one. Check this out. I'm just going to tap on it and turn. And just like that, ooh, we can go ahead and just start drifting. And then when you guys start drifting, turn the wheel all the way to the direction you're going. And then turn it the other way as you start sliding. So as you guys can see right here, ooh, you guys can see my wheels go the other way as soon as as we start drifting i'm gonna do it again one more time right over here just like that guys the reason why we want to turn the wheel that way is so you guys can slide instead of crashing into the wall because watch this guys if i go went ahead and just kept turning my wheel the same way i'm gonna go ahead and slide that direction i'm not gonna drift straight i'm gonna slide in one direction so i'm gonna show you guys a demonstration here so i'm gonna go ahead and drift and if I don't turn my wheel, I'm going to go ahead and hit that wall. So I'm going to show you guys a demonstration of what happens if you don't turn the wheel. Just like that, you'll overshot it. But it also slows you down a lot, guys. So if you turn the wheel, you guys are going to slow yourself down a lot. But if you turn the other way, you guys are going to have a pretty fast drift just like this. Yeah, and it just keeps continuing after that. So if you guys turn the wheel the other way, you guys are going to pick up the same amount of speed or even just go a little bit faster because you're sliding. I'm gonna show you guys a really good one right here. You guys gotta time this right. So maybe around right here is when you wanna start. Woo, that was a little bit too wide. But something like this is really good. There we go. We got cops right there. We're just drifting right in front of them. You know what, I kinda wanna drift around them right now. Hold up, let me do, the, let me do some Ken Block stuff right now. Oh, did I just hit him? Did I just hit the cop? Uh oh, I got out the car. <laughs> and if you guys want to do something like this, if you guys want to do something like this, just drift in the center. All you guys have to do is press the acceleration, turn the wheel all the way to the left or right, and then just keep tapping the e-brake or the the space bar, guys. Just keep tapping it on your screen. So that is how you guys drift or how you guys do donuts here. It's super simple. You just gotta time it right and then press the space bar and then turn the wheel the other way. So check this out right here. Woo! So you guys can actually wiggle the wheel side to side so you guys can go straight. So if you guys feel like you're going more the opposite way, just go ahead and hit that e-brake and then it'll shift the other way. Now we're in the water. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you try to drift with an all wheel drive car. It doesn't always work out, but I'm gonna show you guys a way to drift with the all wheel drive car. It might not be as smooth, but it might still work a little bit. Sometimes it is too, too grippy. Oh gosh. It'll get to the point that is way too grippy to actually drift because it is way too fast, but as so, so far, it looks pretty good. It just doesn't have that cool slide as the real wheel drive one, guys. So you can see that when we're drifting, we don't even turn the wheel the other way because it has so much power going already. All we have to do is go straight, which is really not much fun. But at the same time, it's kind of cool to how we can drive. But at the same time, it's kind of cool how we can actually drift with an all-wheel drive vehicle now in this game. They actually fix the mechanics a lot. But if you guys go with a real wheel drive, just like this Agera R right over here, you guys can see that we are sliding a lot just because we have that real wheel drive power to the point that I feel like it's way too much power, guys, that this car will just kind of spin out if we don't do the drift right. So I guess the Hoonicorn or Ken Block's vehicle in CDT is probably one of the best ones to use in the game because... Ooh, that was nice. That was way too nice, but I feel like we're losing a lot of speed 
drifting with these hyper cars. Check this out. Look at that. We dropped literally from 170 miles per hour to 70 miles per hour trying to drift just like that. Look at that. 30 miles per hour. This is probably not the best car to like drift in because we lose so much power. The thing I like about the Hoonicorn right here, guys, is it does lose a little bit less power than the Agera R, which is actually really surprising. This actually keeps its speed all the way up to 80 to 90 miles per hour while you're drifting, which is absolutely amazing. And then at the same time, guys, you have so much power as soon as you turn that wheel. You have so much power in the front of it that it's just a perfect drift car. Hopefully, they make all the other future cars just like this. I do know that we're getting a brand new um, BMW GT3 in a CDT here in, I guess, in one day or so, guys. When you start watching this video, I believe they did leak it. If you guys didn't see that, go check it out on my previous video when they did leak the brand new BMW M4 GT3 in CDT, guys. And hopefully, that is as fun as this one because I know the M4 is a real wheel drive as well. And hopefully, it drifts as nice as this. But hopefully, you guys learned something in this video. And if you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you guys haven't. And don't forget to click that post notification bell. And if you guys want to be a pro drifter, just like the legend himself, can block, go ahead and get this vehicle before it is gone forever. This is the best vehicle in the game for drifting, guys. Don't miss out. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out.